Are you looking for the best ultralight tents? In this video we will look at some of the 4 best tents on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at Number 1. Big Agnes Fly Creek HVUL1. The Big Agnes Fly Creek HVUL1 tent, $400, has never failed me, said Catherine Hill. This teacher and through hiker is based in Golden, Colorado. Hill has ambled both the PCT and the John Muir Trail and tested several tents along the way. The Fly Creek is a freestanding tent, so I can pitch it anywhere, even if the ground is not ideal for stakes. This characteristic was glorious in places like the High Sierra, I watched many friends spend up to 30 minutes trying to find a good pitch," said Hill. She likes that this shelter's frame is established with tent poles rather than trekking poles. With tent poles, the shelter remains stable and doesn't collapse under extreme gusts, she noted. The Fly Creek HVUL1 features a single door and a dry entry vestibule. The tent's fabric is ripstop nylon. The rainfly and floor have a 1200 mm waterproof polyurethane coating, and the seams are reinforced with waterproof polyurethane tape. This one-person tent continued to be reliable for nearly 200 days and three seasons in the desert, snow, wind, and rain. At Number 2. Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. For the penny pinch and through hiker weary of astronomical Dyneema prices worth a month's rent, the lightweight and spacious Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo, $260, may be the perfect pitch. It's not the lightest, most packable UL tent on the market, but for that price, it offers incredible value. Unlike many other traditional UL designs, the Lunar Solo's canopy floats higher off the ground, which paired with a gaping top vent allows for 360 degrees of ventilation and fights off condensation calamities. The tent floor also floats, as it is fixed to the fly with elastic bands, allowing it to resist tears since it isn't strapped rigid to the sidewalls. These are helpful attributes, but make this a bit more difficult to set up for the first time. Thankfully, SMD has a helpful quick start guide to lead you by the hand. After using this unique tent a couple of times, here's what we like the most. First, the Lunar Solo boasts one of the more spacious internal volumes of single pole style shelters we've tested, at the cost of a smaller vestibule. We feel very comfortable sprawling out on our sleeping pad with a good chunk of our gear stashed away in the corner opposite the door. We also appreciate the durable construction at the cost of a higher weight and the minimal condensation buildup. This thing is breezy, but still fends off some serious weather. The free-floating nature of the bathtub floor seems to mold to rocky, uneven ground better than others, and does a solid job at resisting tears. A handful of drawbacks did surface for us, but in light of what you get for this price, they seem a bit trivial. The overall weight is heavier than similar tent models, and the package unfortunately doesn't come with stakes. The tent tensions well, but we aren't huge fans of the door clasp system at the front, which makes attaching the doors back to the main guy line a bit of a pain. These quibbles aside, we're genuinely impressed at the unique design of the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. It is one of the most ventilated single pole shelters we've slept in and boasts an incredibly bomb-proof build for its weight and price. For the dedicated backpacker on a budget staring down the barrel of a long journey, you may have just found the Taj Mahal of your dreams. At Number 3. Black Diamond Distance Tent. Lil Blue is the moniker we've adopted for this streamlined one-person shelter, not only for the loud fabric color, but the bright effervescent blue glow you're bathed in during daylight. If we're honest, it's a tad overwhelming. But snuggle up in this lightweight, bomb-proof tent at night and it won't bother you a bit. A quick unique construction, durable build, and strong wind resistance allowed the Black Diamond Distance Tent, $300, to snag some real estate in this roundup. Not to mention, it tickles the affordable fringe of the spectrum. We've been itching to get our hands on this model for a while, because frankly, it looks awesome. We haven't seen a layout like it in any other UL tent on the market, and it has a spaceship vibe that seems prepped to take on the gnarliest gusts nature has to offer. While it won't hold up to conditions that four-season tents can handle, this tent tackled strong wind better than most on this list. It has one of the more confidence-inducing builds of any trekking pole-style shelter we've taken into the wild. The tent's construction is quick and easy, with a caveat. It only requires four stakes to hold the tent in place, but prepping the trekking poles takes a few minutes. 
The distance comes with a small, but chunky, adapter that connects your two trekking poles at the peak of the tent, allowing them to run diagonally up the sides of the tent. Cross-pole housings strap onto the trekking pole's grips with Velcro, and a short cross-pole spans between the grips above the tent. This gives the tent more headroom, but all of the elements of this adapter add significant weight and bulk. That said, the overall streamlined design affords the tent incredible stability and strong winds. It shirks blasts of wind like a champ, and you feel almost invincible inside its sturdy high-tenacity 30 denier polyfabric, a brilliant blend of polyurethane and silicone. It's also incredibly waterproof. Unfortunately, such thick fabric, coupled with the adapter, plunks this model into the heavier, bulkier realm. Additionally, it's not very breathable. Moisture builds up rapidly on the tent walls and is more prolific than other models we've tested. The thin vents at the peak and foot of the tent are but weary foot soldiers against the cavalry of condensation. While the simple silhouette bears a discreet allure, we pine for even a small vestibule every time we use this. We understand the need to eschew vestibules on four-season tents, but we'd love all of our three-season options to have them. The distance isn't the most spacious one-person model to begin with, and when you add a backpack and all of your gear to the mix, it's quite cramped. The inability to keep your pack and stinky shoes in a vestibule separate from your sleeping space is perhaps our biggest ding on this design. Despite that, while it's a bit of a clunky solution, we've been stashing our smelly shoes under the small flaps outside the base of the tent each night. It serves as a mini vestibule and doesn't choke us out, while still keeping our shoes dry. Aside from those quibbles and the somewhat intense blue glow you're in once the sun hits the tent, we've actually been really digging this shelter for its battle-ready design and quick, easy setup. It's not the lightest, most packable pick on this list, but comes at a respectable price and serves its purpose well. If you're fine with a few more ounces and need a bump in durability and weather protection, the distance is worth a shot. At number 4. Nemo Hornet Elite OSMO 2P Tent. With solid upgrades to the already legendary Hornet Elite 2 tent, the Nemo Hornet Elite Osmo 2P, $650, offers greater water resistance and less sag when wet than its predecessor with Nemo's proprietary Osmo fabric. We love this tent. Mostly, we love how much this tent saves both weight and pack space. The Hornet Elite Osmo weighs a scant 2 pounds, 1 ounce, respectable for a freestanding two-person shelter. And you can ditch some stakes in the stuff sack for a minimum trail weight of 1 pound, 11 ounces. For gram counters, that makes it a contender on weight alone. This tent is more than just light. It's also a very legit abode in bad weather. On rainy, stormy nights on the trail, the Hornet Elite Osmo kept our team dry and comfortable. Unlike many ultralight options, which depend on trekking poles, this is a freestanding tent. It uses a clever three-pole design with a small flybar where they all connect to give it that extra bit of volume. It has a mesh interior and utilizes an integrated rainfly to keep out bugs, rain, and wind. Inside, a 27.3 square foot floor gives a small but acceptable space for two adults. This is certainly not a large footprint, and you will be shoulder to shoulder with your tentmate. Remember, we're ultralight backpacking here, so snuggle up. Fortunately, there is enough room under the two vestibules, serviced by two doors, for a large pack, shoes, and some other gear. We've used it many times in the rain, and it's enough space to keep your kit dry, even in nasty weather. Setup and takedown are also easy. Once familiar with the tent, our testers were able to set it up easily in less than 5 minutes. Of course, at $650, the Hornet Elite Osmo is a significant investment. But we've used it for enough nights to be impressed with its durability. That said, this is a super light OSMO poly nylon ripstop fabric tent. That means it won't hold up to tons of abuse, and we don't recommend it for car camping, as that would put wear and tear on a very expensive tent. For those who want a lightweight tent to carry over big miles, the Nemo Hornet Elite Osmo is one of our favorite ultralight backpacking tents on the market right now.